Hi guys, so if you're looking to improve your hip mobility, I have some great exercises for you. So for a quick, short uh, anatomy um, workshop. So the hip joint, right, you have what we call the femur, your thigh bone, and then anchor down into the pelvis, the hip socket, the pelvis socket, right, it's a ball and socket uh, kind of shape right so now where the thigh bone is connected into the hip joint imagine a ball and a, in a socket right now with the leg bone the femur it should be able to go or stay in parallel what we call it an external rotation an outward rotation an internal rotation inward okay and then it should be able to come up into hip flexion and then hip extension, like so, right? As well as when you lift your leg out to the side, we call it abduction, abduction. And then we bring it across the body is adduction, A-D-D-U-C-T, okay? so. To improve the hip mobility, you need to address all that movement that your leg should be able to do. All right, let's get started. So I want you to sit down, probably if you have, have a mat underneath you or a carpet, anything soft for the knee. Now your feet is slightly wider than your hip. Now lifting tall as much as you can, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn the knee in. So the knee goes down to the floor, the foot is away from the thigh, and back. And then over to the other side, press and back. And then press and try to stay tall as you move the legs around. And lengthening up and then down. One more each side, lift it up and then down. And again. Now, let's take it further. So we're gonna tip over, press the legs out on the floor, lift the pelvis, press up. So you got a hip extension here. And then down, hip flexion. And then over, and then press. And then down. And then so internally rotate the hip. And you press up into extension. Down into flexion. And then external rotate, and then internal rotate the other leg. Press up, hip extension, and flexion. One more each side, and, and then press up, and then down, and then press up, and then down. Good, all right, now bring the feet, the sole of the feet together. Bring it closer to the groin area. Hands on the outside of your feet. Now, what I want you to do is lift that spine up tall. Don't slouch, please. Lengthen it up. Now, press the elbows down to each thighs. Lean forward with a long back. So I'm gonna show you a bit of a diagonal view here. Lean forward, press the elbows down into your legs, and then you just stay here, okay? Allowing the opening at the hip socket. And then just breathing here. You can choose to count to 10, 20, 30, however you feel comfortable, okay? And then you can even help yourself to just rock a little bit, left and right. You know, left and right. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you don't have to rock, just stay put, okay? All right, and then coming up. And the next one, we're gonna work on an internal rotation here. So this may be very uncomfortable for some of you. Right, ideally, I want you to have your knees together, your feet on the side of your thighs, and your pelvis anchored vertically down on the mat. Look, if this is impossible, you're sitting in incruciating pain, open the knees wider and you think, oh gosh, not possible, that's fine. Bring a cushion underneath the pelvis, so sit on it. And you can sit like that while you work on that mobility, okay? So as you gradually stay in this stretch, 
you find that your hip is just going to melt down internally in the socket. Okay, the whole muscles are going to sorry, the whole muscles are going to give in into the internal rotation. And standing up tall again, you can choose to stay here for 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I will prefer at least, and then lifting up nice and tall. Okay, moving on to the next one. All right, so coming up on your feet. Feet slightly wider or wider than your hip, kind of like that, okay? See my knee over my heel. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna shoot the knee forward a little bit more. I'm gonna rest my elbow on top of the thigh and I push it back a little bit. I'm gonna look like this on the side, okay? I make sure you do not slouch that back, please. Okay, so staying tall and then we're just gonna rock it forward and inside. Knees forward over the feet, over the foot, over the foot, over the foot. Yeah, and then find that little nice motion in the hip, like so. Okay, and taking further, we're gonna rock it forward, turn that knee in, boom, reach it up, hip extension, place it back, rotate, boom and then rotate the other one in, and then lift up. And again, one which side, open, internal, into parallel, lift, and then open into external, last one, internal, into parallel, lift, and an external. Good job, all right, moving on. We're gonna stretch the one leg out, reach it out, like so here. Right now, use the center, press up over to the other side, and then press up over and then press up over. Let's do one which side and then press up over. Last one, and then what you're gonna do sit down, bring that knee in, open up, external rotation, lift over. Sit down, knee in, opening up, lift, one more each side, down, in, and lift, one more, down, in, lift. Okay, let's bring those legs together. Okay, that's all I have for you. Give it a try, do it every day, and see how much mobility you have in your hip joint. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in the other classes. See you later.